We can't and we shouldn't out union the Tories and we can't um, and shouldn't out Indy the SNP. So we, how do we offer a position that doesn't leave us an afterthought in the constitutional question? And does that involve the Scottish Parliament having the power to hold a legally binding referendum? Um, and the first, that's to Keir first. Well, I think this is a continuation of the discussion that we've just been having. Um, and I think we do have to make that case. I think we have got stuck and we need, I think, to look again at the settlement, have a constitutional convention. Obviously, it has to work for the whole of the United Kingdom, but we do need, um, I think, radical federalism and that, I mean, whether a Scottish Parliament should have power over an, uh, an independence referendum, I think, is an interesting question, but we shouldn't get sucked straight into that because all, uh, uh, the SNP are constantly using the constitutional issue to mask the real issues, and if we get into that, we're falling into their trap. So let's have that discussion. Let's have a wide discussion about where we go next. But let's be bold about it. I agree with Lisa that if there is to be an inversion of the political model where power goes closer to people than it should, it should go across the whole of the country of Scotland into every local authority, every community. Um, so that's the wider discussion we need. It has to be done through a constitutional convention, but let's not get sucked onto the territory the SNP want us on all of the time. Let's fight on the territory they don't want us on, which is social justice. Lisa. I believe in the United Kingdom and I think we have to be absolutely clear about that and we have to stand up for Scotland remaining in the United Kingdom and for solidarity between people in every nation and region of the UK. And we can, we can hand power to people and we can give people agency and control over their own lives again by handing more powers to our councils. And we should start within Labour because if we don't trust our own people, why would we expect the Scottish people to do the same? And we have to stand up to the SNP because it suits the SNP that they are setting the rules of the game, that the entire debate is about whether Scotland remains in the UK or not, because for as long as they can divide people and provide grievance and resentment, they will continue to mask their own failures on child poverty, on mental health, on health and social care, on homelessness, on drug deaths, on all of these areas that I am outraged about and every single one of you is outraged about and we need to get out there and take that fight to the SNP. As a socialist, I believe in collective solutions and I'm proud to be from the United Kingdom. But as a Democrat, I have to say, if the Scottish Parliament makes the request for a referendum, I don't believe that as a Democratic Party, we could refuse that. But I also know <laughs> that if we, if we did refuse that, it would drive more of our voters into the arms of the SNP. And that's what they want. But I'd confidently make the case for the union based on a socialist vision for the future. And we've got to be honest with ourselves, the status quo is broken, the political model is broken, the economy is broken. So we need to be talking about devolving political and economic power out of Westminster. And that's a conversation that I want to have with Scottish Labour. And we can have a positive campaign if such a referendum is called. But we can't fall into the trap like we did last time when we joined forces with the Conservative Party on the Better Together campaign. <laughs> Because both Boris Johnson and Nicola Sturgeon want to paint us as a party of the establishment, and we're not. And we're going to have to fight very hard to prove to our communities that we're not part of their club.